Uh, we do things to attract men. We do things to draw men, and car shows, football, uh, is what draws men. Our whole deal is drawing men to Christ, and so being able to use the masculine context of things that interest men, so having car shows, having a speaker like Antoine Randall, former Redskin, speak to the guys earlier. We call it purposeful fun. So we want to have fun with a purpose. And so, yeah, we, we want to reach men, and this is one of the vehicles that interests men. Men love cars. Women love cars as well. We have some women out here. And so, uh, so yeah, we want to have events that attract men, and this is just one of our uh, attractive events for men. So I've always been in the cars ever since I was younger. I was 21 when I had my first Corvette. Of course, this is me and my husband's car, Okay. because we're two, but we're one, and I support him in everything that he does, and it feels good to be out here in fellowship with other car owners, other Corvette owners, all kind of owners, vintage owners, and I've been second to none, Corvette Club, and it's the women there, and I enjoy fellowship. I drive a 1978 Corvette with a 350 engine. Now, when you're a sister talking like this, how do some of the fellas respond? Well, most guys that know me know I can drive anything, even a truck. Mm -hmm. And so how did you get into cars? My husband. Okay. Okay. I am a car, I'm from a car city. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. So do I have to say more? <laughs> We've had a campaign this year. We call it the 300 campaign. Where we challenge men, 100% deny yourself, 100% think up your cross, 100% follow Christ. And we want men to be about God's agenda. What we say here is this. When a man promotes God's agenda, God promotes the man. We want to be able to pass on something to the young men and show them that you can be godly and have fun at the same time. Well, I just bring it out for entertainment purposes, get comments on it. There's nothing personal or anything. Just like showing it. What's some of the comments you've gotten on your car? Oh, everybody, most of the time people want to buy it or when you know you're gonna sell it or what's next. And I will get invited to Howard University homecoming. I do that every year. What drew you to cars? What do you like so much about having cars? I had to have something to spend my money on. <laughs> <laughs> now your car is adorned with a lot of gold and you have the Steelers hat on. Are you a fan of the Steelers and do you I'm make sure that big, all your possessions? I'm a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. This is their home this is their home team car. The white with the gold and the the bug was black and gold, so that was the home team and I've driven both of them to Pittsburgh to watch them play. Uh, 1965 Buick Riviera. Um, the color on the car is a uh, this is a 2002 Cadillac Escalade. It's called White Diamond that you see on the Cadillac Escalades and stuff, it's, but it's a 2002 paint. Uh, also, you have what we call mild gold ghost flames in it. The interior is suede along with crocodile. And the interior as well as the trunk was done also. And again, that's done in suede and crocodile. On the East Coast, we are more Chevy Ford land over here in the Mid-Atlantic region on the East Coast. Um, you see a lot more Chevys, a lot more Fords. Buicks, Oldsmobiles, and Pontiacs, you see more of those on the West Coast. Your Mopars, which is your Chrysler vehicles, Chrysler, Plymouth, Bu uh, um, Dodge, you see a lot more of them down south. So the car stands out in a sense because you don't see a lot of Pontiacs, Buicks, and Oldsmobiles in this area. Uh, 1932 Buick, uh, had about three years now. It's been pretty good. Max speed about 65. Yeah, so I drive it everywhere. Don't trail it. Yeah, drive everywhere I go. Always had a passion for cars and stuff, and uh, I like the older model cars. Unique and keep them all classic and stuff, original. Why, why this one? Uh, well, it was reasonable when I got it. When I first got it, I got some pictures on the front, and I first got it, about five grand, so I put about two in it, so now it's worth about 20, so it's good. So when some of the young people see you, What's their response to seeing you ride down the street? Oh, they're smiling, and uh, some of them say, Harlem Nights, Harlem Nights, and wave. <laughs> so it's good. You get a lot of waves and stuff, and thumbs up. My bike is a 2008 Suzuki M109 Boulevard, 1900 uh, cc's. First bike I ever owned, first bike I ever rode. Um, been riding for three years now, and I love it, man. It's uh, what I like to tell people, though, it's recreation, not transportation. So I just go out and have fun on it and stuff like that. So. Do you compete with the bike often? Uh, nah, not really, man. This is, uh, in fact, this is my second competition. I did it the first year we had this event, and thank God I won then too. But um, so this has been, it's been great coming out here. This is my only, only my second time coming here and second time winning. 